Christmas is a time for children. It's a time where the meek and the powerless become the kings, the lords of the house, and when peace and love should triumph over war and hate. Christmas is also a season where we remember family and old friends, where people gather together to exchange presents, to eat, to drink, and to be merry. It's a time of music and laughter. It is the best time, quite the best time. <laughs> Hello, and welcome to my Christmas serenade. Uh, today I've chosen to tell you the story called The Fairy Christmas by Ethriel B. Berry. And I'm going to be playing um, some songs accompaniment to the story on my clarinet. Thank you, hope you enjoy. It was Christmas Day, but Toddy and Titar were alone. Papa and Mama had gone out west to see their big boy who was ill. They had promised to be home for Christmas, but a big snow had blocked the railroad track, and Nurse was afraid that the train would be delayed until the day after Christmas. What a dull Christmas for two little girls all alone in the great city house with only the servants, no friends and no mummy or papa. They felt so lonely that nurse let them play in the big drawing room instead of the nursery. So they arranged all the chairs in a row and pretended it was a snowed up train. Tita was the conductor and Toddy the passengers. Just as they were in the midst of it all, they heard music in the street, and running to the window, they saw a little boy outside, singing beautifully and beating on a tambourine. <laughs> He 
told them his name was Gouda, and that he came from Italy, which is much warmer a country than ours, and that he was very poor. So poor that he had no shoes, and had to go singing from house to house for but a few pennies to get some dinner. And he was so, so very hungry. <laughs> boy, said Tata. Our mummy is away, and we're having a pretty sad Christmas, but we'll try to make it nice for you. So they played games, and Gudo sang to them. Then the folding doors rolled back, and there was the dining room, the table all set, and Thomas, the waiter, smiling, as if it had been a big dinner for the whole family instead of just for two very little girls. Nurse said, Well, I never, when she saw Gudo, but she felt so sorry for the two lonely girls and the boy that she let him come to the table and eat. And such a dinner he ate! He had never had one like it before. And when every last morsel of food was gone from the table, he looked up, beaming, and said, It's like a fairy tale. <laughs> Just as the dessert came on, the door opened and in rushed Mama and Papa. The train had gotten in after all. They were so glad to see their darlings happy instead of moping that they gave them each some extra kisses and cuddles. And they even kissed Gudo. You may be sure that Gudo never went hungry or barefoot after that. Long afterwards, he would always say, That was a fairy Christmas. That night, after Tata had said her prayers, she said, Mama, I know something. Whenever you feel sad and lonely, if you will just find someone sadder and lonelier than yourself and cheer them up, it will make you feel all right as well. And I think that was the very best kind of Christmas lesson. A lesson of love. <laughs> Thank you.
So this Christmas, celebrate, be merry, love, and be loved. Give presents, receive presents, laugh, and hear laughter. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Love you lots, everyone. This video goes out to all of my family, grandmom, granddad, granny, Uncle Barry, Auntie Jean, and anyone else I've forgotten. Hope you have a really good new year.